last time on Ark. Now, hey, this is what happened literally just a few minutes ago during the last episode. Ended kind of on a bad note, so we're hitting record right away after all this happened. Trying to end on a little bit better note for the day. Hey, we thought we were doing a decent tame, doing a little bit of tanking slash taming with our trite. Thought we had it going, and then his Rex blade jumped in, so uh, we tried to get away. It wasn't working out. If you guys want to see this, go back to the last episode, episode 14 in the playlist. Total arc disaster. Hopefully this episode will go a little bit better. Alright, welcome to episode 15 of our ARC series. This is literally 10 seconds after shutting off episode 14, which was pretty much a failure. <laughs> Complete disaster. Tried to go tank tame a spino. It did not work out well. So we had a little bit of trouble with that. Uh, basically, it was going perfectly. Everything was great. And then he called in a friend. A Rex came from the side. We panicked, ran away, hit the water. And I think a Baryonyx hit us. If not a Baryonyx, a Microraptor. Something hit us that knocked us off our trike. We died. By the time we made it back, the spino had already been damaged pretty good. So we had to pretty much take him out. And then the, the Rex out, obviously, too. So we didn't get, get our high level... Spino, level 150 Spino that we could have gotten. It didn't work out well. You can see our, our trike over there is pretty bloody. He did not fare too well. That was a little, bit, a little bit of a disaster. So, since that went so badly, we decided to go ahead and just hit record right away. Roll right into episode 15. I'll release both of these probably the same day. And hopefully get a little bit more success here. So, the last video didn't go too great, but good or bad, we want to go ahead and upload as we go here. You know, this is like a let's play kind of a little series. So, even on the bad days, got to upload that. Alright, so now, episode 15, Ark Survival Evolved, single player playthrough on the Xbox One, the center map, boosted playthrough. Alright, so that's pretty much the whole rigmarole. We're going to try to do a little bit better than we did in episode 14, and try to end today on a, a positive note. You know, Ark can definitely mess with you sometimes, so you got to try and get some of that success when you can, so that's what we're going to try and do now. Uh, of course, nothing good. Small crop plot. We can use that later. Compost bin we don't need, and pipes we don't need just yet. Luckily, it rains so much on the center map, we don't really need pipes too often. Alright, so a few different ideas what what we're looking for here. I think we're going to roll out to the little floating island. It's usually a pretty good hotbed for uh, any Carnos, high level Carnos, or sometimes RGs, sometimes Ankylos. We're kind of just kind of. You know, play it by ear, see what we see, or I <laughs> guess play it by eye. We're going to kind of just see exactly what we can do over here without dying, hopefully. Hopefully this doesn't turn into another disaster episode. Wow, that's an off barrier right there. Got Baryonyx, Sarcos, and Capros. So they've made the swamps worse and worse, especially the Capros. Capros is definitely the worst one. So as long as our stamina doesn't run out, make it over here to the island, and then we'll just kind of fly around and try to find something high enough level worth getting so uh, RG would be nice uh, I would like to tape a jar before we get an RG but those things are hard to find a high enough level and they're not really usually worth it I don't know where they actually spawn a lot on this map usually it's just kind of luck of the draw you haven't run into a high level one all right usually there's some pretty decent spawns of I see a bunch of scorpions over there we're not really interested in those right now Stegos now. We're not really want any of those. We can find those. Now, Procoptodon I would like. We can see what level this Procoptodon is. I think that's at 40. I didn't really see it real well. Allosaurs would be nice, but they always go in little packs, which makes them really difficult. 145. Yeah, we're definitely not messing with that guy just yet. I don't think we need another another failure video like episode 14. That was a little bit rough. That's the only reason we're recording again here. Wanted to at least have a a little bit of positive run here. Make sure it's not another, another base building video. We're we'll trying to keep those to a minimum. Alright. Go ahead and get our stamina back up. We've got a couple RGs up here. We might be able to tame these guys. We've got three different RGs in the area. I think if one of these is high enough level. Since the flyers are nerfed a little bit, we might. 60 might be good enough. 20, 60. Uh, I don't know where that one over here went. So I can see. 
Oh, 95. Okay. I think the 95 is a winner. 95 seems like a pretty good level. Maybe these ones didn't get nerfed the same way the ones around our base did. In fact, maybe since the UI update, I should probably do a destroy wild dinos and see how they spawn in now. So we'll, we'll have to see what's up there. We're probably just going to leave you here. We're just going to do the little circular method. We'll get over close to this guy and just keep running in, running in a circle trying to shoot this guy. So the, the straking method, I think they call it. I'm not really sure. So, oh, looks like they track a little bit better than they did before. So, as long as we can keep kind of going to the side, especially like right when you attack. That noise is new. The, that must be part of the new update too, the way their little squeaky caw sound, whatever that is. So, let's keep hitting this guy. Alright. Keep circling, circle, circle. Oh, start country. Oh, he's totally... No, awesome. Alright, stay close, stay close. Keep up with him. Please don't run to the other RGs. <laughs> we don't need that to happen again. And there, I see the wings over there. Okay, he's down. Perfect, perfect. Alright, let's get our bird over here. Come on, come on, Beak. You don't want to fly? I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Okay, there we go. Alright, jump on Beak over here. Those so RGs are getting a little bit close. I think the RG might be the best bet to get some prime meat. What else is in the area over here? Got a level, I think it said 20 saber. It's not really worth messing with. Another saber over there in the distance, I can't really see. So if this is just a level 20, I only have five stone arrows. And I don't actually know if the bowler works on these guys. But I could just use the... Let's try that. Okay, that does not work. Okay. Neutral, go ahead and help me attack this guy a little bit. If I can pike him. I would use the trank, but I'll probably end up hitting my guy. Alright. Pike, pike. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay. No deaths this episode. Let's go. We don't need to die again. Alright, let's just shoot him. We'll, we'll take a knockout if that's what we have to do. Plus it does enough damage, I think we'll be alright here. A couple more times. There we go, cool. The other level, oh, that was level 60. So, nothing terribly high. We'll use him to go ahead and get this guy kind of quick. 8 prime, that's good. There you go, that gives us 11 prime, that should be enough. Alright, let's take that. I'm gonna have all this prime off of here. So that should be plenty of prime to go ahead and tame this one up. This is usually where we celebrate and say things are going well and then we die. So we won't say it. Hopefully thinking it doesn't count. <laughs> Alright. So level 95, female RG. Not a best not a bad start. The Argentavis. You should eat. Oh yeah, 78.3% first bite. That'll work. That'll work. So one more bite and then this one will be up. Perfect. It's going to take just a minute as this food goes down. Uh, we could go harvest up the rest of this RG over here. I don't see anything in the area. That's the biggest thing. want to watch out the area. Hopefully we don't get ganged up on by a pack of allosaurs or anything else. I really don't want to lose this tank. Okay. Kind of look around. Yeah, biggest thing, I just don't want to get snuck on here. This thing is still here. I thought it disappeared last time. Okay, we're good now. Oh, where's my guy? There we go. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't accidentally bite the wrong one there. Alright. Let's put our weapon away so we don't accidentally shoot it. After we look over here. Oh, is my guy on follow? Yeah, let's look over here. 20 and I can't see the one behind the tree over there. I would like to go look at it, but I'm not going to test my luck right now. Let's just worry about this tame and then we will possibly go look around after that. But I, I just don't want to lose this tame. I think the RG will help out. Help. In fact, maybe we'll get this RG and then we'll come back later with enough supplies to build a quick taming pin. Get a taming pin built up and we, we can use it to trap some of the smaller dinosaurs. 
All right, so he's down to 60. Still got another 15 or so to go. I thought that was a saber, that rock over there looked like a saber for a second. All right, no surprises. No surprises today, Ark. <laughs> There's an old game show they used to say, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. I couldn't tell you what the name of the game show is. I just remember from when I was a child. They used to yell, no whammies, and then they landed on whatever, like, the bankrupt spot or the whatever the whammy spot is. They landed on that, and then they would lose. I, I really don't remember what it was. I have to look it up one of these days, but it was a old game show. Alright, he's almost ready to go. So, level 95, plus 47. There we go. Okay, what? Level 142? So, that will definitely work. Like I said, in the interest of not testing our luck, I think we're just going to take this guy straight back to base. We really don't want to test our luck. These guys are going to be kind of slow, I think. With the flyer nerf, the RGs end up being the slowest of the birds. I, I don't know that for sure. But I want to say, like, they changed it to where the RG is going to be more like a utility bird. Uh, more based on, I think, weight, maybe? Or maybe their stamina? I'm not I'm not really sure. And then, the, I imagine the tape of jar is hopefully still somewhat fast. And it's really cool because it can actually hover and go straight up, straight down. But I don't know, I don't know what they're... Their definite role is, I know they're trying to change it to where the Pteranodon is basically just a point A to point B dino with a little bit of speed, but it has such little stamina that you got to stop a lot. So, we'll get back and look at the stats and see how it looks. I'm going to rest right here so we don't have that stamina issue. So, Beak, Beak actually has pretty decent stamina so far. Stamina-wise, we're definitely not hurting too much, but level 142... RG, that's not a bad start. He's got kind of like a gold color to him. So, or she has a gold color to her. So, we might be able to come up with a cool name based around that. Yeah. I see gold. I'm thinking Goldie. I'm thinking Goldie Hawn from like the old Overboard movie. So, <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. Probably because I just saw Guardians of the Galaxy. And if you watch that one, uh, Kurt Russell is in it. He used to be in the movies with Goldie Hawn. I think they were married. Just watch the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Uh, I'm thinking about putting like a small review on the channel since it's a small channel. We don't really have to worry about like specializing in any one thing because we, we don't have enough viewers for it to matter. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about possibly doing a couple movie reviews. We end up get, seeing a lot of the newer movies. Uh, I see a lot of the the, the more kiddish movies with the with, with the kids, and then I get to see some of the other movies. Me and my wife will go to a movie sometimes and try to watch, you know, something. Uh, good. We went and saw what was it Fat, Fast and Furious? The uh, was it Fate of the Furious? Whatever the eighth Fast and Furious movie. We went and saw that a couple weeks ago. So we went and saw that. Saw Guardians of the Galaxy this last weekend, and then a few weekends before that, uh, took the kids to go see Boss Baby. So those are the movies we've seen. This is just the last, you know, last several weeks. Uh, looking forward to some of the movies coming up. You know, like the Wonder Woman and some other ones. So I'm really into movies. So I love watching movies. Whenever I have time, you know, between work and playing a little bit of video games and full-time college and, you know, all the different things we got going on, I uh, definitely run out of time sometimes, but I try to watch as many movies as I can. Between that and television shows, but television shows, I usually wait till they hit Netflix so I can just binge it like crazy, so. All right, so we're back at base. Our brand new Argentavis here. All right, let's get you to land. Land right there for me. Oh, yeah, that's a definitely a different... Uh, sound that the, the RGs make. I don't remember it sounding like that. Maybe it did, but I don't remember it sounding that way. Let's see what we need to do to get the RG saddle. Alright, learn that real quick. What do we got? We need chitin, keratin, fiber, and hide. So we definitely have the fiber and hide. We're gonna have to work on the keratin. I think we have we got 148. 148, how much do we need? <laughs> we need 150, of course. Okay, so we're too short. I don't think I have any over here. Uh, that's one of those supplies we're gonna have to go, yeah. One of those supplies we're gonna have to go kind of stock up on once we start worrying more about just gathering. I'll probably just do a couple hours of gathering before I start recording the next episode. So we, we can definitely, we can run down here. There's usually a trike or a turtle down here we can take out real quick. Let's jump on Curry. Alright, jump off here. 
Okay. Back on Curry. Alright, there should be... I imagine there's a turtle or a trike here somewhere. There's gotta be. Maybe. Maybe not. Of course, rule number one of Ark. If you're looking for it, it's not there. And then at the worst opportune time, <laughs> that's when it's there. It's kind of like the Therizino. Uh, I've seen a bunch of them on this map, and then since I've been looking for them, I found a level 55, and that's pretty much it. Everything else I found has been really low level. So I haven't been able to find one of those. That's one of those ones I really want. They gather just tons of fiber, make it really easy to get a bunch of fiber. Definitely want to do that. Oh, I have to go a little ways for this. All right, there we go. Hope this guy's not too high level. 55? That'll do. All right, we only need two, so there we go. 14 characters, good to go. I got this guy. Okay, goes. Can't stand this guy. I'm thinking. Oh, we already had 126 chitin on here. Man, my bad. <laughs> we already had a bunch of chitin on there, so. Okay, we got a little bit extra. Alright, what else we need? We need. 185? It said 185, so. Need at least one, st one stack of fiber. And a stack or two of hide, and then we'll be able to make a the Argentavis saddle and then we can test out the, the RG and see what the nerf feels like with these guys I like that these guys can jump that's pretty good and their swimming animation I guess that is pretty cool too we definitely need to take these guys in a little bit deeper water kind of test them out but <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for another failure episode just yet so let's get through here oh a little bit hiccup there Close that up. Alright, this guy next to next to Mira. Curry and Mira. Still haven't named the iguanodon. Still got a few few that we need to name. I'll try to make sure I do that first thing next episode. I just get uh, so wrapped up in trying to tame stuff or trying to build stuff, I can, sometimes I forget to do the naming. Alright, what do we need here? I know we need fiber. We need yep, just one stick of fiber. And then we need some hide. Stone hide. We got a decent amount of hide, not too bad. Alright, what do we need? Oh, no, one more stack. Okay, so it's two stacks of hide. I need to pay better attention. Alright, so there we go. Craft that up. Outstanding. Got us our RG saddle. Let's take Beak back out here. Park Beak. We need to go get terrible. I'll move terrible back over here, but that way they'll keep making eggs for us. All right, there we go. RG saddle, awesome. Let's go ahead and jump on this one. Right, I definitely like this golden color. I think we're gonna definitely go with that theme there. Stick with the fact that it's golden-ish. You know, got kind of that golden yellow tint to it. So I think we're gonna go with. Uh, we need to go one of the movies that Goldie Hawn was in. Go with Goldie. We can go with... It. She was in the movie Overboard. I remember my parents watching that movie all the time. Um, hey, I don't know. Overboard doesn't really sound like an RG name. Let's, let's not go with that. Yeah, I think we'll go with... You know what? It's not totally original. It, I'm sure a thousand people will name anything that has any golden tint to it. They name it Goldie. Uh, but that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with Goldie. Alright. So easy to remember. Female female bird. Works out perfectly. So stats. 2,300 health. Uh, wow. Pretty decent stamina. Over 1,000 stamina. 600 weight. And 300 melee damage. And movement speed is capped at 100. Wow. Oh, weight. Weight though. Weight and stamina are really good. So we got 1,500 stamina. So this is almost... Back to the point where we would have it to where we can actually make it, you know, most of the way across the map all the way. It is, it's pretty slow. It's pretty slow. Yeah, that, it's going to take some time to get across the map with that speed, so. And we'll have to see. So, it might work out. But we're going to go ahead and end it there. Just a quick, quick episode. I know it's pretty short compared to the usual. Episode 15 was just kind of make up for episode 14 which was a little bit of a disaster so we went out got our RG Goldie worked out pretty well 
I'm not going to be recording Saturday or Sunday because we're getting ready to move. So we're planning this whole big move, which we're going all the way across the world. I'll explain it later. If anyone's watching, I truly appreciate it. If you could, like, subscribe, and then we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.